Welcome to Money Hangout once again. Every week we talk about an investment issues, uh, some investment issue, and uh, help you understand uh, mutual funds and try and answer some of the questions that you may have. Uh, this is brought to you by Build Us and Life Mutual Fund and Value Research. Today we are going to talk about something which we all talk, you know, which we all understand. We have all been taught in our high school uh, the compounding and how it works for your investment. Uh, though we have, all of us have been taught about this, we don't believe as strongly and we don't appreciate it. I thought this basic concept needs a reinforcement and I'll explain you why. This is something which was referred by Einstein as the eighth wonder of the world, though there is it's still disputed that whether he said so, but undoubtedly it is a, uh, it, it certainly is a mathematical wonder. You And compounding at its very simple level is, you know, you put some money, the money earns, and then subsequently that earned money also earns. So your capital keeps rising. And uh, so I'll just, you know, <clears throat> I recall a story. And in ancient times, one, some king was very impressed was with the, with the inventor of the chessboard. And he wanted to revo reward the inventor. And uh, he came with a very simple demand of the prize that the chessboard inventor wanted that he wanted one grain in the chessboard of each box and wanted it to be doubled in the subsequent one. And by the time it became, you, you reach to the 64th box of the chessboard, it turned out to be so massive a amount of rice grain needed to fulfill this demand. That is the power of compounding. That in effect was 2 to the power of 64. And that that amount of rice grain needed was not there in the kingdom, was not there in the granary. So that is the magic of compounding, how you can do it with your money, compounding it six times, doubling it uh, 64 times. Uh, that, that actually made, <clears throat> that does the magic. And so that can be replicated. It, I think, you know, investors' appreciation of the magic of compounding can be a big differentiator. Uh, at the very basic level, as I said, that compounding is that you put your money to work, that money earns, and then the earned money also earns. Uh, so this is a simple concept. Let me cite you with an example. Uh, you invest a lack of rupees uh, in, in any investment, and that earns 10%. So that 10% earning becomes 1 lakh 10,000. Subsequently, for 25 years, if that money remains invested and it compounds at 10%, uh, then the money becomes your earning at the end of 25 year is 1 lakh rupees or because your rising capital grows to that extent and this is compounding at 10 percent many investments in the past have you know compounded at a much faster rate there are some investment if you don't take my if you would not have taken much risk maybe you would have earned 10 percent as well and uh, so 1 lakh rupee invested 25 years ago earning 10 percent will earn 1 lakh rupees every year in from 25th year. So this is the magic of compounding. Then comes, you know, you need time to compound and appreciating time and letting your investments compound over time. This is something which most investors don't uh, allow their investments. Uh, they invest and they are eyeing the, the investment that maybe it has gone down by our own experiences drivers to pull that money out or maybe there is a real need for that money so that we don't let it grow over time but uh, deciding your priority uh, just taking money out just because it has gr pulling your money out just because it has grown may not be a great idea let me explain how time works for your investments uh, if you would have invested 10 lakh rupees and if it compounds at 12 and a half percent which means it will double every five year so 10 lakh rupees becoming 20 lakh in five years time, and then another 40 lakh rupees in, uh, <clears throat> in five years time, then another 40 lakh rupees in 10 years time, then 80 lakh rupees in uh, 15 years time. And <clears throat> uh, then it becomes 1.6 crore in 20 years time. Now this 15 year to 20 year, 80 lakh will look very small as compared to 1.6 crore. So this is the magic. For 15 years, it has taken you so long to accumulate to 80 lakh. But 80 lakh to 1.6 crore 
takes just another five years. So this is where, you know, when you allow your investment some time, then the magic gets triggered. So time and patience could be one of the biggest determinant of the rewards that you reap from your investments. Now, this works very nicely. It is well appreciated. Everybody understands the compounding or the compound interest on their fixed income. But most investors are still confused. They are doubtful about this, that how does it work in equity? Equity is because equities don't deliver you uh, any kind of guaranteed return. When you make a bank deposit, when you deposit your money in a bank, then you are assured that you'll earn 7%, 7.25%. Earlier, you used to get 9%, 10%. Senior citizen savings scheme will earn you 9%. So your money compounds at a predictable rate. Here, there is no predictability. Some year you get, but over a period of time, we have seen that even our lame Sensex earns 18 19%. It's an unmanaged index. That's why I'm referring it as lame. Uh, but and many of the managed funds, well-managed funds, have been able to give you upwards of 20% annualized return over a long period of time. 10 year, 15 year, 20 year, you earn very high rate of return from your equity investment. The only problem is that how does it compound when it doesn't promise you a return? The real reason why it compounds faster is equities tend to give you know, by its very design, any owner will earn more return on his capital than only he will borrow money. And the other reason why equity does better is that it gets adjusted with inflation. All the goods and services produced by companies, their inputs as well as the output gets revised. The price of it gets revised with inflation. So you earn faster. You are, at, you are generally assured that your any product or services will get adjusted for inflation and uh, then they can have and then some companies do much better because they are able to drive greater efficiency or they are able to command premium on their products so over a period of time equities generate higher return than fixed income they compound faster the only problem is that they do not give you predictable return they do not give you instead of nine percent eighteen percent every year but on a 10-year basis on a 15-year basis on a 20-year basis we have seen that even a not so well picked but a reasonably diversified portfolio like sensex or a mid cap index or a nifty has been able to generate substantially higher return than fixed fixed income and uh, because it comes in an inconsistent way, so some years you get 5%, some years you get some negative returns, some year, but then some year you actually double your money in just a year's time. Even in last one, one and a half year, we have seen that most funds are up anywhere between 20 to 40%. This 20 to 40% range actually makes the compounding, uh, uh, yeah, you know, uh, inconsistent, but over a period of time, it has been higher. So compounding at a higher rate and letting your investment let be there for a long period of time is the simplest secret of really growing wealthy with your investments uh, don't undermine this simple concept most people will think that what is big deal about it everybody knew it but i think doing it actually makes it all the you know brings about all the difference you have to do it we don't do it uh, i was just looking at you know one of the one of the mutual funds and uh, I've, I did a simple SIP uh, assumption of one and a half lakh rupees invested in one of the fund, which was compounding at rate of 25% and doing a SIP. Mind you, this is not compounding of a initial investment over the last 25 years. Doing a 50, one lakh 50,000 rupee in annual investment over the past 20 years in something which is compounding at 25% annualized becomes 6 crore rupee, which means 1.5 lakh rupee invested every year for the last 20 years where your capital will be 30 lakh rupees. That grew to 6.5 six crore rupee over the last 20 years. Uh, so this is the magic of compounding. Uh, start believing in this. Start appreciating this power and uh, look forward to such return. I don't know whether it will be 25% less or more, but it will be substantially higher than you can, you can think of if you, are ab if you are able to inculcate the, you know, if you, uh, the habit of remaining there, appreciating the erratic nature of it, and allow your investments time to benefit from this. So I hope that you uh, 
you know, you, uh, I am able to contribute something to your thought and reinforce the idea of compounding uh, to benefit from it.